Watiti. Take a Watiti. And uh, it looks fucking hilarious. Um, it, it looks to me like it's... I, I try not to watch too much of trailers, but it looks like it's going to focus on this child who's in the Hitler youth. And uh, he's being trained. to. He's like, he tells his friend, he's like, oh, I'm a soldier. For, you know, they have British accents because it's, it's silly. Yeah. I'm a soldier. And his friend goes, but you're 11. He goes, oh, no. <laughs> and so like, they're, they're at like Hitler youth camp. And who shows up but Hitler himself. And he's like running with the kid, like 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 having fun with him during the training. Like there's a scene where the kid mm. throws a throwing knife at a tree; it bounces right back and hits another kid, and like stabs the kid in the thigh. It it looks really. This is good. We haven't really kid. explored the comedic aspect of Nazis yet. Not thoroughly. No, right? it needs um, to be explored. Inglorious. It looks like a, a lot of fun. I'm I'm really jazzed about it. Speaking of Inglorious Bastard, let me Th- see. This, when this is comes the same out, guy who's in. Uh, have you guys seen What We Do in the Shadows? Oh shit! It's out. I gotta find this. Uh, I did. I did, and I really liked what we did. What we uh, do in the shadows. That was a weird vampire movie. Yeah, it this very is funny. That, uh, this is like he's like the guy walks through. He's like, and this is this is Victor. He is seven thousand years old. <laughs> <laughs> he's like he just opens the tomb and gives him a chicken that he eats. No, no, <laughs> Peter. Peter. <laughs> oh. I've been watching a lot of deep fakes. Okay. Yeah. I, and uh, my favorite, uh, do you, I, my favorite one I've watched so far, I think, might be Adam Sandler as the Bear Jew. That's Have a you deep s- fake. Uh, I'd like to see that. You, you remember the scene where, um, where the Bear Jew comes out of the tunnel and he's like hitting the bat on the wall, like cock, yeah. cock, and then he comes out to finish off the Nazi like sergeant or whatever. Like he's coming, but he's making Adam Sandler goo 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 gaga noises, like. <laughs> and when he shows up, you know, they do such a good job. It's fucking Sandler. It's it, it's let me see if we can find it. It's probably a fucking music video, too. Deep fakes. You know that a lot of politicians are secretly stoked on deep fakes because they're like, oh, oh, thank God when that comes out, I can claim deep fake. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's no what? it wasn't me molesting that kid on little saint james island That's a deep <laughs> there was a stat that came out that said we had more governors with blackface than we had black governors and i'm like i wonder snopes is like yep that's true that's <laughs> like, so uh, fucking funny yeah we have more canadian prime ministers in blackface than we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh full of God. music but you can just see from that screen yeah. <laughs> shot right there that like that's fucking at and it makes me wonder how he would have done. I think uh, Eli Roth maybe plays uh, the Bear Jew in the movie, um, but but I would have taken Sandler. Sandler's got a new movie coming out where he looks unrecognizable. Um, Is it, it, it like it, a drama that he's? Yeah, it looks it? intense as fuck. Uh, last thing under his little searches. Grown ups. Oh, gems. Uncut gems. Is that it? Yes, uncut gems. Uncut Gems looks insane. It looks like a real, like, um, uh, high, pa- uh, like, fast paced. Um, the only thing the Jewish community likes uncut. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's going to be really good. I want to see that too. Um, a lot of, I'm, I'm looking forward to some new movies coming out. I really enjoyed going to see, um, uh, what was that movie that we were, we were, we all watched, uh, recently? Joker. Joker. I really enjoyed going to the, the theater for that. It had been a while since there, a, a decent movie, or at least one that I was interested in, had come out that I felt was... Yeah, there's Endgame. Oh, I, think, the I think we watched this trailer on... That was the PKN one before that, recently. yeah. Yeah, because this looks good. I know I've seen this trailer. I'll see this. Yeah, I saw... That was in the previews at Joker. Uh, that that was that's, that's where I saw the preview the first time. So yeah, I'm definitely down to see that. Uh, I could see Joker again. That movie was so good. Yeah, I've told everybody I know. I was, I, I, you know, if, if you want to watch it, let me know. I want to. I'll go again. I'll take you. Whatever. Let's do it again. Huh. So if I'm missing anything the first time. Yeah, for sure. That's gonna be one of those Blu-rays I definitely purchase right away. It's still so funny that people are ruining those stairs for everyone who lives around them. Like were, the Joker dancing down the stairs. I looked at the Joker reviews. There were actually a lot of like it seems to be not a love it or hate it movie, but it's definitely a love it or like it movie. You know, there are a lot of people who thought it was a little one note. Like I, I thought it was going to be the only one. That wasn't the case. 
No, I like that. Maybe I, I never really read reviews of movies. I just kind of watch the trailer and see if I think it looks good. Yeah, I like to form my own opinion. I like to, you know, I like to look at the reviews and see if it's going to be a real stinker or not. Because like mm -hmm. the the two movies I just mentioned, I'm going to watch regardless because I think I can tell that these are going to be good. Just reading these books by their covers, I suppose, or not so much. You see the trailer, you see a lot of it, but sometimes I, I don't know, and I, and I like to see like is it a three percent on Rotten Tomatoes because that might be telling. But some of my favorite movies are, have, have really low Rotten Tomato ratings. And I think they're really high, well-respected. Like, like whenever I, I'm on the, the, the movies subreddit and, um, you know, some will be, someone will ask for a good, like, sci-fi horror movie, everybody's always recommending Event Horizon. And then you look at the Rotten Tomatoes for Event Horizon, it's like 30%, something like that. It's, it's real shit. What's your guys... I mean, I don't... One is hard. What's like in no particular order? Top three movies all time. And if it's a if it's a series <clears> of <throat> movies, just name the series so you don't have uh, to split it. Godfather Two is my number one. Um, the Shining is number two, and three is probably Shawshank Redemption. So I list. struggle with recency bias a lot when topics like this come up. You know, like the first one that popped in my head was Endgame. Like I really, really like that movie, but. Is that just recency bias? You know, maybe yeah. Like, <clears throat> like try like think about like you as a like kid or a young man. Like well, those okay, like old school Star Wars. I liked a lot, but I rewatch them and I'm like, oh, this was actually slower paced than I thought it was. Like it, it was better in my memory than it, if watching what I'll call the fourth one, which is the oldest one. Yeah, uh, it's not as good as I thought it was at the time. Yeah, they're pretty garbage. I would say the Lord of the Rings, American Psycho. Uh, I really like the thing, Ooh, that me too. Carpenter movie. Yeah, John. Yeah, yeah. John Carpenter movie. I th Kurt Russell. Of all the horror movies I've ever seen, I think that's my favorite one because it does a it's, good job of like usually like I love thrillers, but I like the horror aspect. And a lot of the time, the thrillers you see that are really good aren't very scary. It's more just like, what's going to happen next? What did they just discover? Where are they moving? What are they just got? Like that kind of thing. This yeah. is like a thriller horror that genuinely is scary and keeps you on the edge of your seat. So yeah, probably, The Thing is an excellent, excellent movie. Um, John Carpenter made a, a lot of cool movies like that. I like the 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 music. I like the, the setting. Um, I like all the characters. There's a lot of good character actors in there. But the practical effects steal the fucking show. The practical effects in that are amazing. There's no CGI. Mm -hmm. It's fucking it when, when when that body fucking he's it, like, like he's doing chest compressions on this guy and the guy's entire chest opens up, sprouts teeth and and like because he's doing.